I think The Crown is quite clearly a drama. It is presented as a drama. It's billed as historical drama. It's full of actors acting a script. That's all very clearly acknowledged. And I think people aren't really so thick as to think that that is a documentary. I think they do know the difference between fact and fiction. Okay, well, so far, so much the same for many other dramas that are all over our TV screens right now. But why do you think it is that The Crown has attracted so much criticism of late? I think in the UK, The Crown has hit a sort of really interesting political moment. So, obviously, it's been going for several series. I think this is the fourth series. And the previous series haven't really excited so much drama. But, of course, now we're getting up to the present day and to some quite sensitive political points, such as, you know, the relationship between Prince Charles and Princess Diana, such as the prime ministership of Margaret Thatcher, on which there are still quite partisan feelings in the UK. But particularly, there seems to be this reaction with the royal family that, you know, they need this sort of special protection. And I think that perhaps relates to a question about how we treat the royal family generally. You know, these people, certainly in the UK, they're in the tabloids every single day with myths being made up about them. Um, and nobody seems to be going after that fiction, but instead they're going after something that is presented as fiction on TV. Perhaps it's just a softer target. Yeah, perhaps indeed. Well, a touch uh, or uh, interfere with a people's princess is always a bit of a, a raw point, isn't it, for so many people in England and beyond. But it's also happening in Norway as well, because the makers of a series there, which is also based on the royal family, Atlantic Crossing, have come in for a lot of criticism. So how do you think it is that filmmakers can really draw the line between fact and fiction? This is a constant difficult question for people making historical drama. And I mean, Atlantic Crossing, I haven't seen yet, haven't, hasn't been on, I don't think, in the UK yet. But uh, I've seen the trailer. It looks fantastically lavish, well-made series. Um, but there obviously has been some pushback. Um, and that seems to relate to, you know, kind of whether there's historical inaccuracies, how it represents Norway. What I would say is that, first of all, NRK seems to have been doing this very impressive thing of putting the historical information up on its website after they show the show, which is great because it really encourages people to engage with the facts and ask themselves these questions about whether it's fact or fiction and how far the line goes. Um, but also, I do think, and what we've seen again and again in the UK and elsewhere, for instance, when shows like The Tudors were on, there were lots of historians who were very worried because, you know, this, oh, this is such an inaccurate show, you know, Henry VIII is too sexy, all of this is a problem. But in fact, what happened is that the sales of books on The Tudors, proper historical books, went up radically after that show was on. So what we can see is that actually these shows get people very interested in the real history behind the show. A lot of people, the first thing they do after watching The Crown is go and start reading up on it on Wikipedia, then they order books, they find out more about it. So it does generate a more general interest. And I think, you know, this show will certainly increase everybody's interest in Norwegian history because it's such a dramatic story.